Welcome to round number eight here of the Porsche WSR Super Cup Series uh, in the Elite and Pro Division. As you can see, a little bit of a different change of scenery. So we're doing the NASCAR special, as I previously mentioned, uh, here for round number eight. So quickly going to cycle through the qualifying order. See where your favorite driver is. Let me know uh, where they're starting down in the comments below. So front row of Hembree and Saunders uh, making their return to the Elite and Pro Division. Waiting for him to go, and away we go. So a pretty decent start. Looks like everybody's going to get away okay. Keep in mind, Robbie Heckett from P3 uh, is actually on a set of hard compound tires. So an interesting strategy call there uh, from the American as we make our way uh, through the first couple of corners. So some drivers jostling in the back. Almost a full grid here uh, this afternoon. So very good to see that, that the league is doing pretty well. Very surprising to see from the uh, the NASCAR special. But either way, looking back at some of the WSR guys, we'll see uh, if everybody... Oh, there's a spinner! That's Menzi. Menzi sideways. I think one of them lost it worse. Oh, that's Sonder. Ow! That was interesting. Let's go ahead and get a replay of that. So Sonder was up on the wall. Uh, came down. This is the corner before. So, yeah, very interesting to see that. So Sonder was up on the wall. Just just breaks loose on him, I think. How interesting is that? So, yeah, up into the wall very hard. That's front and right front damage. And then left rear and rear damage. Looks like I think that was Driscoll, I do believe, down there. And, uh, oh, no, it was Hamad. So uh, both those guys getting in some early contact. But looks like everybody's been able to carry on. More contact up in front here with Cardella and Droopy Designs for position number 11. So these drivers really struggling. Uh, in these cold tests, his MP designs uh, decides to give us a nice little slide there in position number 14. Well, it didn't take long, but as you can see there, Robbie Heck going up the inside of Saunders. Very surprising to see that Heck actually has a pace advantage here at the moment. As, uh, as you can see, he's on a set of hard compound rubber. Ooh, a little bit of a squeeze there up into the wall. Saunders may be giving a little bit of a check back, but uh, not quite sure if this is supposed to be the case. Uh, with the hard tires being quicker than the mediums at the moment, as it looks like we're already uh, going to be coming up on the lap car of Amon there in position 15. Unfortunate there for the German, but either way, uh, Robbie Heck now takes over the race lead. Uh, but one of the WSR guys getting in trouble there, but either way, the battle for the race lead still continues on, uh, even with more traffic at hand here as Robbie Heck uh, tries to get himself back up into the race lead, but I think with the better line, uh, Saunders should find his way as there's more contact happening there. Uh, on the inside, more contact as Robbie Heck goes into the inside wall. As uh, there, I think it was just an incidental move there. I think Saunders might have bounced off the fence, but as you can see there, critically, the American driver has given himself nose damage, although it will repair itself. Uh, so scratch what I said earlier, but either way, uh, another change for the race lead. And as you can see here, the tires go by very, very quickly, so pit stop's probably not too far ahead in the future. All right, checking back a little bit farther than the pack. You can see there, oh, Ash just got the fence. I do believe that's going to open up the door for Droopy Designs, who's gone forward and backward uh, in this race to move himself up into position number four. So really good stuff there uh, from the Englishman as he puts his American counterpart under attack. So he's going to try to clear himself up. I'm not quite sure he's through, and that's actually going to open up the door for Wake. You can see here uh, a couple of the guys uh, that have managed to survive the early goings of this race as somebody else has gotten in, uh, gotten a rug there uh, going into turn number one. So still battling all over the place. I think we got to move back here as well between Cardella and Menzi uh, for position number eight. So a couple guys getting themselves up into the wall. This is just a, a complete mess. I'm almost uh, tempted to just not. I'm just going to like let the race happen as Wake falls back now, but I'm sure he's going to make another attack. And, uh, and find his way back up into P6. All this, oh, wow, Menzi tries to go up the spot, and uh, that's exactly what's happening. So uh, there's just so much going on. It's very hard for me to keep up. But uh, either way, it looks like things have kind of settled down for the moment as Cardella makes a bit of a, uh, contact with MP Designs, uh, who unfortunately is going to go for yet another spin as Cardella will back up and uh, I guess kind of attempt to get the spot back. But uh, yeah, it's just it's all kicking off here. All right, race leader Robbie Heck is into the lane. As you can see there, by the laps that he's gone, I'm pretty sure he's going to try to cut this race uh, up into fourth. So into the box, uh, the, uh, the SV pit crew going to work there on that beautifully designed uh, Porsche livery. We'll see where he cycles out as Droopy Designs and Cardella still have yet to make their pit stops. Actually, Heck is going to go on to a set of medium compound tires. So very interesting to see that. But uh, either way, the American driver will make his way back onto the racing surface. You can see the battle for the net race lead is about that much. So about the length of the front straightaway is uh, the gap between our two net race leaders. Once Cardella and Droopy Designs make their pit stops, we'll have a better idea, as you can see Cardella coming in now. But uh, thus far, lap 37, all is still, uh, is still about where we started with. Uh, probably will be finding a way around sooner rather than later. So making their way. I mean, we're coming up almost on halfway. As I think, oh, yeah, there you go. Menzi got a little bit wide there. That's going to open up the door for the uh, the beautiful uh, Garage 56 car to go up in the P3. So good stuff there from Joker. Still a wild race thus far with, uh, with still many more turns to go. So, yeah, take your bets now. Well, as you can see there, Ash getting out of the way for your race leader. Unfortunately, he's going to kind of wash himself up the groove a little bit there. And Cardell's actually going to get in the back of him. A little bit of a bump and run there from the Italian uh, going up the inside of his American rival. So he's going to clear himself. Uh, up into position number five. Looks like these guys running right up on the fence here. Kind of the, uh, the Kyle Larson line. But as you can see, uh, I mean, we're not too far from halfway. I'd imagine the next round of pit stops probably aren't too far away. But, uh, yeah, it's still pretty crazy at the moment. Checking back with your race leaders. You can see Saunders doing a pretty good job here. Uh, up in P1. Oh, a little bit of contact there. Somebody must have gone on the fence. Look out, look out, look out. Oh, 
that's Robbie Hacking at the side of whoever that was. I think that's one of the newcomers down there in the, uh, yeah, Dart, uh, in position number 13. So unfortunately, some of your leaders getting collected in, in, <laughs> in incidents that weren't their problems. And unfortunately, uh, yeah, Robbie Heck getting some nose damage will make his way into the pit lane. So he's still theoretically on target to cut this race into fourths, although I'd imagine uh, he, might just, he might just stomach the rest of this race. Uh, on a set of hard compound tires as Menzi also makes his way in the pit lane. So a little bit of drama there for your race leaders. You never really know what's going to happen, and the same could happen for Saunders. So, yeah, don't go away just yet. Uh, Saunders making his way uh, into the pit lane. So a little bit of nose and right front damage. We'll see what kind of compound uh, the American driver, who looks set to bring home his first ever WSR feature race victory. Looking good for you, or I should say thus far, as you can see Joker going there uh, on the right. He is currently your race leader, albeit... Uh, you know, still need, needing to make a pit stop. So, Ash will actually come out, or I should say Saunders, rather, uh, will actually come out in P3 behind Cardella, who, I mean, still needs to make a pit stop. But uh, Robbie Heck really isn't too far behind. Only about a straightaway separate these two. Heck being on a set of hards, and Saunders also being on a set of hard compound tires. So, I don't think this race is over just yet. Well, once again, the, uh, the spot of contention here is we are coming up on 40 laps to go. As you can see, Joker really having a surprising, uh, surprisingly good run, I should say, as he moves himself up into position number three. So uh, some small battles, obviously, uh, lots of incidents have happened uh, since I was last with you guys. But as you can see here, Menzi's not giving it up just yet, still trying to hold on uh, to that very, uh, very valuable position number four. These are the last two drivers on the, I should say, well, two of the last three drivers, more or less, on the lead lap, besides uh, your race leaders and Saunder, as uh, he's moved himself up in uh, in front of these two. So uh, once Joker goes a lap down, the entire field, bar Robbie Heck, has now gone a lap down to Saunder. So things looking very, very good for the American thus far, but we'll see if he's able to bring it home. Here we go, your P2 runner, really the only man that's been able to hold a candle to Saunders all race, Robbie Heck, uh, coming in for what I can only assume will be the final pit stop uh, for him in this race. I mean, if you're Robbie Heck, if you're that far behind, you might as well go for a set of mediums. He's actually gone on to another set uh, of hard compound tires, so very surprising to see that. But either way, uh, now we just kind of wait on Saunders to see what the American does. I mean, he's got a pretty good lead as uh, more contact between teammates unfold in front of Mr. Heck, but uh, either way... Yeah, now we just wait on your race leader to come in for the final time in this race. We'll see where he comes out in relation to Robbie. He's actually, he's actually opted for a set of medium tires. He's able to take this stint very, very deep uh, into this race. You can see Heck there on the right, and we are going to have a battle for the race win. So uh, Robbie Heck with the hard compound tire undercut. Uh, definitely was a bit of a gamble, but... Uh, yeah, this should be a good fight between the two Americans to see who will reign supreme here at Northern Isle. All right, it's getting down to it, ladies and gentlemen. Saunders has closed up that gap, but it is still very, very tight between your top two. As you can see, Ash actually uh, lapped down there, running in position number three. So, thus far... No! Oh, no! So, Saunders from P2 has gone for a spin. Oh, no. Wow, so the man that dominated this race... Basically, I mean, not didn't necessarily lead flag to flag, but was more or less in control of this, has thrown it all away. So he'll drop down to P2. I mean, he's over, I mean, he's almost a third of a lap behind Robbie Heck. I think this race is over, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, quickly going to cycle through the field here on the last lap. So Heck, Saunders, Joker, Menzi, Ash, your top five. You can see the rest of the field here. But uh, for Robbie Heck, definitely wasn't the most straightforward uh, of victories. But nonetheless, the American driver kept his cool, made sure that uh, he made the fewest mistakes possible. And Robbie Heck wins the feature race here in the NASCAR Special at Northern Isle. Uh, Joker will come across the line P3, Menzi P4. Saunders, I'm sure, a very dejected uh, driver in a, within himself, comes home P2. You can see the rest of the running, or I should say the finishing order here. But, uh, yeah, what a wild race we had here this afternoon.